suiting up right here. Get that dead cat in. Nothing short of epic for the world of natural insulation. Hybrid CEB straw. Let's see if this is for real. Whether the dreams of low cost housing are indeed true. Now, of course, I wish we were using our own live tracks, but last night in a session of Midnight Run, we found out that all of the wheel control valves on the tractor are busted. They're all broken, just a bad batch. I'm going to ship them back to surplus center and get new ones. That's another delay. We want to get our CEB going, but that's another delay in the process. The good news is that we did get the sawmill blade ordered, the 30-inch and a 13-inch edger with insertable teeth got them from Georgia and they're at about $650 and $300 so about $1,000 for the blades for the sawmill and of course as we get our machining up we're gonna start fabricating them ourselves with precision machining surface grinding that Joshanda is working on the open source multi machine we're gonna roll that out as soon as possible so we can build these things ourselves now here you get to go through the orchard again moving up Documenters on the side, I love it. Uh, just a few apples if you look over there. A couple of apple trees has nice juicy apples, you might want to get those. Uh, but the rest of it, it was, you see here, this is totally out of control. We need to maintain our orchard a little better. We've got everything here from oleaster to chestnut, apple, pear, peach, plum, cherry, hazelnut everything else for permacultural production and you farmers out there who's gonna be our farmer we need a full-time farmer next year as you see we're scaling up part of the deal is to demonstrate that that local organic year-round food complete diet can be provided with open source equipment at a very reasonable cost and made replicable for all kinds of community supported agriculture operations all over the world. So that's one of the first proofs of concept of this equipment. Now here you see a big tractor that's not live track. And this is not an open source baler. But right now you can say we're we're studying the industry standards on the baler. We're looking at making a hydraulically drivel, driven one so you can eliminate these very complex mechanisms here for punching and everything. Very complex mechanisms. And as far as the tractor, I told you, there's three tractors ready to run. Last night we were putting the power cubes on. Found out that the motor spool control valves were all broken, so we're going to have to get them replaced. Okay, so we're here on the field. Looks like we need to, to engage this thing.